Lodge was reconstructed with period wood. Mm. All right, so it was, you can imagine over the course of many decades, and it kind of been dilapidated and not <laughs> really recognized for its importance, but this is truly where HP and uh, Silicon Valley was founded here in this garage. Uh, the only thing they kept was the poured concrete floor because mm. it's a perfectly good floor. Yeah. But we probably imagine that it was dirt floor when they lived here sure. and worked here. So HP Labs has come a long way when it comes to cleanliness. Uh, but here is where they really started things. And in here you see a collection of oscillators and there's also a picture here of Bill and Dave in the very garage. So this was all recreated um, Basically, from that picture, they were able to sort of deduct what would have been in here. And I mentioned earlier the drill press that Bill he or that Dave Packard put in the back of his car, the drill press. Wow. Bill Hewlett was a uh, fan of ham radio, and HP went on to found, find, found a very long-running ham radio club. One of the coolest finds when they took over the property and started the renovations was basically begins with this piece of wire here and it, it extends out the back of the garage that was Bill Hewlett's ham radio antenna oh and so that's what these ham radios sort of commemorate was his love of ham radio and so here on the bench we've got the 200a and the 200b the 200b is where things really begin to take off for HP uh, Bill and Dave went up to Portland, Oregon for a engineering conference, and it was there that they met Bud Hawkins, who was the chief sound engineer for Walt Disney. And he was looking for uh, machines such as this in, uh, to test the audio in theaters for the movie Fantasia. This would be the 40s? Around the 40s. Uh, 1939, 1940. 1940. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, uh, so Disney ordered seven of the oscillators. They wanted a minor modification. So that's where it went from the 200A to the 200B. And they, with that endorsement from Disney and an order of seven of them, they were off and running. Does anybody know why they called it the 200A? No. Mm -hmm. They were young, didn't want to make it sound like they just had started a company. It was their first product. So ah, instead yeah. of calling it the 100, they called it the 200. Yeah. To make it sound like it wasn't their first product. Well, it was, so was normal in the industry later. Microsoft, yeah. everyone yeah. do the same. So, uh, <laughs> so a little bit of early marketing strategy. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. They, they, they create this strategy. That's right. Yeah. So, I know. Um, so Disney was the, the guys that uh, made this HP happen. You could say so. You know, it's just with that endorsement. Your first client certainly, is... Certainly, <laughs> your first client is Disney. Your first made client is Disney. Yes. They had orders before with the 200A, uh -huh. and the 200A wasn't their invention. An audio-resistance-tuned uh, oscillator had been created, but what they did was they created one that was a better-performing oscillator, and it was cheaper. Uh -huh. So you go up to a conference with a superior product being offered at a lesser price. It's a pretty easy sell for those who need them. And then, of course, make me a couple little minor modifications so I can call it my own. Sure thing, Disney, we'll call it the 200B. And so then they went on to create the 200C, and there's Ds in here as well. Uh, and then they sort of consolidated it all and made the 200CD. Uh, and then they continued making oscillators for about 25 years, 25, 30 years, I think. And, uh, of course, they made lots of other products. They were supported by the, um, the war effort. Uh, Dave. But it was not so easy to find these ones. It's not totally easy. Old. It's kind of my job, really, is to find these and put ah. them in the archives because we manage the physical Do you think archives. there is a still ones to discover? Oh, yeah. No, yes? there, are, there are. I mean, they made thousands. In of eBay them. or something? Some... In eBay. I, I'm always looking on eBay. And it's uh -huh. amazing how somebody will sell one or they'll put it up for, they'll offer it on uh, eBay and they know the importance of it. And you can tell those ones because they'll sell them for like $1,000. Mm hmm. And then somebody will put it up for 250 bucks. Uh, so I just grab it. Yeah. I don't care, I don't care if it works. Yes. Um, you need just to, they, they look. Some of them do work, though. And there's totally. amazing HP alumni, uh, engineers all around the world that test these machines to this day. Uh -huh. And they create um, YouTube videos of it. And there's this gentleman out of Japan that worked for HP for many, many years. And he's always testing instruments. And one, one of the, like... The most fun memories I have so far as someone who manages the archival program, he posted a message to a Facebook group and said, 
I, I need a new bulb. Do you know what kind of bulb it was? And I was able to go back into the archives and find the original schematics and the original manual and learn that it was an incandescent bulb. Wow. And it's just something that he didn't think to learn until mm -hmm. he needed to. So, so it's a very active, uh, you know, it's obviously the, the big deal. And uh, we interviewed a gentleman a few years ago who had a 25-year career at HP, and his retirement gift was a 200B. Well, and it's sitting in his office, and it's like, uh, okay, he, Martin, the, will it to us, will you? Did yeah. he get the ball? The... He got the ball. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he was able to find the ball. Wow, it's amazing. Those are audio oscillators, so have all the equipment on the current, right? Yes, those are all oscillators. You should try and pick one up. They're pretty heavy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. not even my wallet. There were, I don't know if you saw it on the way. You're welcome to help yourself with the snacks and the beverages. Oh, right. thank you. Front if you want. Thanks, thanks. Thanks, thanks. Now, for many of you, this is your first engagement since you've arrived, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. Second right. One. Yeah. Second yes. one. 